Yabruk nation, the day has begun for me. It's time to get started for the garden season. And here we go. I'm headed to a small greenhouse where I tend to start things. Make sure that we have sufficient to eat from. And I just want to give you a tour of that. Yeah, I have here my dirts. I do purchase the organic dirts, and seeding uh, soil from uh, from Lowe's, and this is where I began the progress of planting here. This is a small greenhouse that we built. I would say, let me show you from the outside first. In this little greenhouse, we have a total probably of, uh, I would say, $5,000. Nothing is cheap today, my friends. Nothing. So we built this from an old building that I had here that I used for storage. And the heater, we have mats like these that are not inexpensive they're quite expensive to purchase we have four of those and they're not inexpensive and a heater that will the mats will make sure that the seeds are warm on the bottom and this will uh in a greenhouse we only need to keep it into around 65 degrees anything will grow in that but this is where we start you can see I have all the trays ready. It also tops for each tray into like condescending of moist. These are trays that we use. We use several kinds. These are what they call uh, from bootstrap farm. These are trays we use. We use smaller ones that I'll grow partially and things in. And then we use these as well, 72 seeds per tray, and it will produce sufficient. And we're getting started today is what, the 13th of July, and you will start now. And we should have planted a week ago because of the season, but we were keeping them the more at the feast day. So we didn't have, well, not, not having time, I didn't start. I want to just give you one little, I want to show you how I do things. And there were times that we have one, two other greenhouses that are quite large. One will be used this year for, we, we grow tomatoes and chips and that. And then we had one, we have one that we raise tilapia fish and everything. And then what we have is a small solar greenhouse, it's solar. I built that, it's on wheels, and I will grow tomatoes and things in that during the year, small things at the winter time. But it's always, this is the time to prepare for the, uh, for the spring of the year. And it's one thing about broccoli and things like that. They need at least 12, 12 weeks. You need to start them before planting. And we'll plant everything in March, the middle of March. Uh, we will plant every single thing. I will say to any of you all that want to understand a little of farming and growing, you all in every state have a resource center at the major universities of agriculture. I will find that. And over the years, I have downloaded and printed out a vast volume of material that assists me and help me. And they are more than willing to help here in South Carolina, Clemson University. That's our ag school. And they will certainly help you, give you information. They will send someone out to help you. And when I came here 27 years ago, they were willing about 25 years ago. That was a man of my hue. That was the, he was the representative for our area. When he came, he said, my, we need to come and learn from you, Riyadh weed. But he was a very kind person, very nice. 
And so I'd take advantage of those services and I experiment, try different seeds and different kinds. But I've found that what I want mm, organic seeds that are heirloom, I go to baker's seeds. There are many multiples of those that I, I have purchased seeds from everywhere. And uh, their product, you're going to have uh, problems with whatever seed you buy. You try to save yours. And the life of a seed is not that long. It really is not. Even the heirlooms and all of that, about five years at the max. And so I began today planting seeds. And that will give me plenty of time to have everything ready March 13th, March 15th. And that is the date for our Zone 7 here in South Carolina. You need to have everything out for the spring. Uh, and I start early because I want to get them out a little early because uh, of the uh, bugs and things like that. They're looking for food. And this will be the year that we rest our major. We will grow stuff in raised beds. But we do rest our land every seven years. I will not plow the land or anything like that. Now, I know those that think they know, some of the purists, they cannot even tell you why there was a seven-year period of rest and why the land was rest. That was food in the land and the things that are that grow without any cultivation, perennials, things like that. And it was meant for those that were poor they could come by your field and see what's there, and the poor could eat. It was a Shabbat of rest. And I don't know how many people, it made no different the color of their skin, whether they knew ya or not, they were called because we keep our telephone number on our billboard or our sign entrance. And then we have the little young silly kids calling with stupidity and antagonistic type tone and I took that down but they will call preacher man I tell you them collard green show look they look good out there how much you sell them for I say boss man you can take all your wants you got a bag no sir I don't have one well I'll meet you up there because we have cameras all around our place and I would give them those things and that's what the seventh year of the rest of the garden was for. We will not plow any of our soil or anything. We'll raise things in beds we have that would be more than sufficient, and plenteous for us to eat. In this greenhouse here that I'm sitting in, you can plant, I can plant 5,000 ceilings in here. The larger greenhouses I could plant 10,000, 15,000 at a time. And at that period of time in our gathering, we had 131 people live here. And that's not counting the people that will come and visit. And we will allow them to stay overnight or visit for some days. And there were all kinds of people that came. And so we will grow plenty of food. And uh, I'll show you all in the future, the thousands of jars we have canned. If there's a crisis, we can eat. We have canned thousands of jars. We have a gallery here that we built, Zachin Ya Ramaya. We had a young man, his name was Dolphus, he's deceased, and myself. We built this gallery that we can we can can 100 jars at a time. I got the concept from a stove because I purchased a book with the very unique stoves of the world. That was 25 years ago. We got the concept from a French designer that designed this same stove for the country of Sierra, Sierra, uh, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Because it was the fuel, as far as finding sticks and wood, it was called a communal stove. And it doesn't take much wood. And I tell you, we tweak that. It is a stove. 
And I would say to you all, buy your small cannery. We have those huge ones that we can can. Mm, I would say about 30 jars at a time, even in those. I would begin to just put back for the, your own health reasons. And I would do it that way. But I'm going to show you, I'll come back, show you what I get down today. But let me just give you just one little thing today as to how I do things. I don't want this video to be long, but this is how I do things here. Let me show you. All right. Let me show you here. This is one of our trays that I use. This is from Bootstrap Farm. I watch there's there are all kinds of people that use this tray. I've never used it. This is my first time. I've always used a different kind. It's a very heavy-duty tray, though. It really is. I like that. And they cost, so they average around $10, $11 a piece. And this is that. And I will begin. This is how I will do it. And I'll come back and show you. I will, I will just put a little indentation there. These seats, you don't need very much depth of dirt. I won't even cover this. But that's how I do it. And I'll process this. And you will see tags on all of these trees and numbers that I will record, number 136, the type seeds that I plant here and everything. And that's how I prepare all the seeds, basically. I do that because I enjoy doing it. I've done it from day one, and I certainly enjoy doing this. I can... The most seeds I've planted in one day, and that's beginning early morning to late evening... Probably, I would say, ten th about 8,000. I can do it like that. I know how to do it. So I will show you at the end here. I'm going to stop here because I need to get busy, all right? So I say to you all, Yabaru, shalom, shalom for now, shalom.